Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your stream, Lord of the Mad. Hi, Lord of the Harm Rangers, it's Biffin and Glow 32, Boxes Mad 1, Kutus Waki 13, and all around neutral guy. I'm still worried about that one super mutant who noticed me before. I don't know where he is. And. Oh, hello. Uh, it was probably not one of these, though. Pew 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 pew. That only does three shots. And they're not all that powerful. How's this one? Well, this is pretty much in top shape right now, so I might as well find this. Come on. Please fall over there. Thank you. You next, food. Is someone still aware of my presence? What was that? Apparently that way. Oh, I assume he's down this path. Um, I assume I don't want to go down that path. Ah, that's problem on issue. Found you. We are the future. But you can't rip. Oh well, they can make more. So I guess there's that. That's a beautiful view of your head, sir. This is how we usually kill enemies in uh, Mountain Blade Warband with a crossbow. I go under them, and uh, in an angle that they can't hit me at, I shoot them in the head. Yeah. God damn it. Got too far away. Put your face in front of my bullets, please. Thank you. Well, that was too challenging. Let's see, up again. I don't ha I don't know if I have enough ammo for my other thing. This should be fine. I'll always have this, if nothing else saves me. Red X, uh, conductors. Yeah, I think that was what I was looking for. Okay. Check the safe first, so I get more XP. No, I'm losing my bobby pins. Going on vacation. A permanent vacation. Wow. No. Cease this activity. Stop breaking so much. Why do you break so easily? There we go. Ooh, that's quite a few things. I suppose it's not a surprise since this is the, their little medical department thing. I still don't remember if we actually found... Uh, we didn't find a blueprint. But it looks very much like a place where Mark could find a blueprint, but I'm not sure. Let's check the records. Yeah. Sometimes. No? Fine. Lockpicks. Yay, there we go. Alright. Skip into here. All employees must read. Any work member marked as deceased by the special EP section will be tagged and coded in the computer as an unexplained or undefined death. This comes directly from the overseer of this world who will be personally inspecting your reports to make sure they are accurate. Please refrain from sending inquiries or clarification requests to this office or the EEP chief physician. Please print out and give any next of kin form TV900L if they have questions. I thought the C snack free. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, wait, seriously, they have a full listing? Wow. 
That's a lot of deaths. And Bennett Faust actually died in a different manner, so he has that going for him. Uh, and Eve. Right. Wait, no, that was actually the gun that works. Um, I think it needs its own spot on the list thing. So yeah, there we go. No, not that one. That's kind of heavy. This one, yeah, this will provide our enemies with swift death. Oh, is that... Yeah, it is. Anything down here? Nope. So basically, it all connects up to each itself again, just in a way that makes the player run around a lot. Good. That's always a better option than just uh, having absurd non-areas. Don't need an assault rifle, those are kind of rubbish when compared to the Chinese ones. I think that also holds true for pricings when selling. Alright. Test labs. Oh, this sounds fine. Oh, I can't really shoot the head very well. Let's go for dorsal shots. It worked, though it was not as effective as it could have been. If I could have had that with the head, the most likely the introductionary shot would have been lethal. Where the hell is that? Oh, here? What? That makes no sense. Fine. I'll accept that for now. Now this is going to be more of a challenge then. Is it? It is here. There we go. 16 missiles. Just as the doctor prescribed. I can't actually play that bash again play it yet. Probably won't on this channel, but I probably will in general. This chamber one. A status check. Go chamber offline. Thanks depleted. Oh well, hello. Aren't you handsome bugger? How's my radiation levels doing? Uh, I'm fine. He's a handsome bugger, isn't he? Yeah? We wouldn't want to see him every day, but you know. I've seen worse. Hi. Status check. Offline. Depleted. Of course. No visual thing is this time. So this offline depleted. This is just making it so that we. Oh, hello! You kind of snuck up on me there. Got me by surprise. You did. Oh, hi. I forgot about your kind centaur. Please back the fuck off. Or die, that's fine too. Yeah, the centaurs are also FEV subjects if I remember correctly. So here we have offline depleted. Do you have loot? You don't have any loot. They never have any loot. Why do we even bother? Hmm. Kind of worried. You! You over there! Please! Uh, come speak to me! Uh, I'm in the room to your left! Oh, use the intercom next to the window! 
Hey, give me a second. I need to explore everything. I'm just happy that he didn't give away my stuff with that. But how? Alright, the latest subjects in the evolutionary experimentation program are showing some prom promise after only a single exposure to the modified FBV. We are currently testing 5 subjects, 2 males and 3 females. Each one of them is under 24 hour observation as usual. We hope to have a breakthrough in this uh, strain as the continual pressure from Voltec and the military at Mariposa is becoming bothersome. Incredible results after only 3 days, subjects P440, P164 and P D624, or female specimens, are all exhibiting a unique change. The bodies are undergoing severe physical changes, losing most of the visible female indicators and transforming to an almost asexual state. They are also seeing increased upper body strength and muscle formation in line with males. Similarly, subjects C376 and A541. Our male specimens are losing most of their visible male indicators and taking on the same asexual state as the females. It seems that the FEV wishes to level the playing field and start with a clean slate as it works. So basically a cheap way to make it so... It's very difficult to say which ones are female and not. You had a minor setback, subject 3440, Mary Kilpatrick is now deceased. According to my autopsy, she died of a massive loss of brain function as well, and was unable to sustain her basic bodily needs. Uh, this is the usual pattern we see in all the FEV strains we test, the brains of the subjects becoming too damaged to support even the most basic human needs, eating, sleeping, etc. So far, all other subjects are nominal and continue to exhibit physical changes. All right. At 10 days, we are now noticing that the skin of all our remaining test subjects is actually thickening and becoming more resilient. This seems to be the FTEV bringing about some new adaptive change. This is the kind of result we were looking for, adaptions that would prove useful in combat situations. I need to remember to congratulate Dr. Philo on his skin engineering. His coded instructions in this train seem to be exactly what he expected. Once again, I've hit a damn wall. At 14 days, all of the test subjects begin to exhibit severe bouts of rage and anxiety, so much so that they were a danger to my team and to this facility. I had no ch other choice than to once again put the order. <laughs> Kill them all. It pains me every time we do this. The same cycle has been repeated in every strain we test. We always see superior physical adaptions, but the mental changes are their downfall. That's sad. Uh, there are exceptions though. Yeah, Marcus in the west, I think. Hey, what's this then? I see you, Laka. Get up near there, Laka. So they wanted me to go that way, but there's someone who can shoot over that direction eventually. Oh, here. A friend is super mutant. Well, now I've seen everything. No, must you use that vulgar term? Yes, I was born in the FEV chambers. A super mutant? I certainly am not. I prefer the term meta human. Yeah, suits me better, don't you think? Perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. The name's Fox. How ironic that others consider you a mutant of their kind. Yes. Indeed it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment. But I hadn't expect to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up with the gap. What do you know about it? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Uh, why would you help me? Be 
gods. You can help me. Let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the gek for you. Why would I have difficulty getting the gek? The chamber in which the gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the gek safely in your hands. How do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failed safe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? You're on. Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Uh, do you know what the Gek does? We can discuss this later. Right now, concentrate on getting this door open. All right. Let's go now. It is my hope. Then we will speak again soon. Likewise, you'll be my companion soon. You'll become friends. Caution. Is there something in there? I know there's something in there. There's probably something in there as well. Probably in there. Probably everywhere. And probably over here. Oh no! What a dreadful fake! Oh, another one. Oh, did I shoot your gun away? Did you pick it up again? Did you die? I think he did it. Oh well. Stealth is kind of difficult in this area anyway. Uh, let me just take a look around before I pull the switch. Alright. Actually, my intent was to just make my way here and uh, do the terminal thing next time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Next time on Fallout Frame. Hi. Hello. Why does your appearance keep changing? And also, why are you fighting me? You face the barbecue stick if you keep doing that. In fact, you will face the barbecue stick. In fact, you have faced the barbecue stick.